What is up, everybody? We're back yet again for another drum playthrough review. And for those of you brand new, my name is Nick. I play drums, and that's why I like to do these videos, because I like to watch and analyze other drummers' technique and see what kind of chops they got going on so we can all learn together. Today, we're going to be reviewing a very special drummer, one of the OG drummers from YouTube, who he's been around for quite a while, and he's been in a whole bunch of different bands. And right now, he he's in Whitechapel. <laughs> I'm sure that kind of clues you into who we're talking about. We're talking about Alex Rudinger. Alex has been around for a long time and he's played with a lot of different bands, including the Faceless and bands of those kind of sort of, what's the word? And bands of that hemisphere as well. He's a very technically inclined drummer. He's very, very fast and he has some really clean techniques. So we're going to be reviewing a playthrough that he does of a Whitechapel song that was just dropped on their last album, Kin. But the name of this song is A Blood Soaked Symphony. Quite an impressive song. Not my favorite song off of that record, but it's still a very impressive song to say the least. Without further ado, anybody, we're going to get right into it. <laughs> gonna put that on the highest quality just look at this dude though he leans into his drums so much when he plays and he's he's just absolutely a beast <clears throat> he's only got one kick drum too chonk So let's just watch too how his hand technique and all that's going. He's keeping it pretty easy. It's gonna be a lot of wrist, a lot of forearm motion because this is kind of a slower song. Can't really see what his wrist is doing there from that angle, but. Okay, yeah, he's still using wrist, a little bit of fingers, but. But you'll notice how he's leaning into his drums when he plays too. Especially during the double bass parts. That's because that's where he's deriving most of his power from. It's from his hip flexors. Because he's using a lot more full leg on this. You can also watch the book cam. Just a little bit of ankle. Very sweet fill there, by the way. And he's playing a simple beat here because sometimes that's all you need. Very nice fill. Nice little ghost notes added in there for some flavor. He's also keeping a very loose grip on the sticks as well, even though he's hitting pretty hard. Even though he's using mostly like forearm and wrist and all that, he's still keeping a pretty loose grip on the sticks. You can see the gap in between these two fingers right here, right? And that's good to have. And he's singing along to the song too, so that's kind of funny. Fuck it then, take it down. Kind of interesting too with this ghost note technique. Just look at him for a second there. Oh, okay, come on, play it again, dude. Come on, let's see what we got. When he's using his ghost notes, he's switching between fingers and wrists when he does it, depending on the speed of the ghost notes. See, like right there, he's using wrist. A little bit of fingers there. He's actually keeping his fingers pretty close most of the time during these fills. Because, I mean, again, this is a more power song. And a very complicated beat there, too. 
But this is more of like a power song. It's like slow, vibey, you know? It's just such a cool to look to to have one tom on each side. Yeah, that was good, man. Rudy kills it. Alex Rudinger, everybody. Yeah, so what an absolutely great playthrough from Alex Rudinger on that song. Once again, he does demonstrate quite, quite literally how you don't need to play fast in order to actually play well and play technically. That's a fairly slow song, but he's using a lot of complicated patterns in his playing. That helped to kind of bring a different vibe to the song that you'd usually get instead of just playing the regular four on the floor kind of a beat. You know, something kind of like what uh, you'd hear from Lars Ulrich or someone like that. He has a good way of mixing things up. He uses that four on the floor pattern occasionally, but it's not like overbearingly so much. He has a good way to mix it up. His fills are very interesting. He doesn't necessarily do like these amazingly crazy rudiment fills. What he is doing on there He's mixing up the phrasing of the notes and all that, so that way he gets a little bit of a break from just the straight one, two, three, four. He's adding all sorts of little stuff in there, even some dotted note fills from what I was hearing. He has a very good way of phrasing his fills, and it, it just makes the song a lot better. It makes things a lot more tasteful, because if you can phrase the fills in a little bit of a better way, that kind of brings a little bit more vibrance to the song, and it makes you kind of remember some of those fills and latch onto them a little bit more, because your favorite part's coming up, and all of a sudden when you hear, oh, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, you, it makes you want to do something like that. But yeah, he does, he has an excellent job. His technique on his wrist, too, he's keeping his fingers mostly closed for a lot of those fills. He's using mostly wrists when he does it. He's not really opening up those fingers a lot and using fingers when he does it, so that's interesting to see, and also I can kind of understand why because on some of the faster stuff I do see him still use wrists so I feel like he is more of a wrist player than anything but he also does use fingers when he needs to but for a song like this this is just supposed to be like vibey kind of slow like bad and Dun, 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 dun. You get what I'm saying. It's a slow headbanger song. You don't need to play absolutely blazingly fast in order to, you know, impress your audience or anything like that. It's just, it's just a vibe. He accentuates the song very well and he adds his little embellishments in when it needs to be embellished. And overall, I feel like he just does a really good job of that. So uh, once again, Alex Rudinger, what a phenomenal drummer. If you've ever seen him with the uh, other acts that he's played with, like the Faceless or anything like that, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say that like he's, he's phenomenal. But yeah. All that being said, that's going to end this video. So here's a couple things that you guys can do to support me. So for one, you can hit that red subscribe button that's down below. It's free. You can always change your mind. And it would make me sad if you didn't. But I mean, that's just beside the point, you know? They're just my feelings. Please subscribe. <laughs> You can also like this video and comment down below what you guys thought of Alex Rudinger's playthrough of A Blood Soaked Symphony from Whitechapel. And also check out my other videos. I got some good content on there, believe me. But with all that being said and all that's out of the way, guys, that's going to end this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one of these. Cheers.